Hey guys, so first time back in a while. Today we're going to be making a Banjo-Kazooie idle animation. Well, I guess it starts off as an idle animation and turns into something more complex by the end. Like it seems like all these videos do by the end. But it felt fitting to do a Banjo-Kazooie animation this time. First, because I saw that it came out on Nintendo Switch Online, so it was nice to be able to revisit drawing these characters. But also, uh, one of my favorite games of all time, some of my favorite characters of all time. Just a game that I grew up with and played a lot whenever I was younger. So. We're going to start off just kind of like breaking down the basic shapes. You can see in my layers at the bottom of the screen, I've broken it down into its body, head, arms, etc. Just to kind of make it easier to animate a little bit later on. I will revisit the video in just a moment after we've made some progress on the actual drawings of them. And then we can talk more whenever it gets to the animation parts of this. Alright guys, so as we wind down on this and we finish up drawing Kazooie here, we're actually going to step into the animation part of this. This is going to go by pretty quickly. Just note that whenever I'm creating this animation, I'm using a lot of what's called follow through, or I'm also using a lot of secondary motion to be able to create a little bit of personality for these characters and just the way that they're bobbing up and down and thinking about how things might respond when one thing moves up and another thing moves down. I'll show the animation at the very end of this process just to kind of get a sense for actually what it looks like because I know it's kind of like zipping and wiggling kind of crazily here. But in thinking about like follow through and those motions, one thing that you'll see in just a second is just something like the necklace how it's going to go up after the head and shoulders go up but also how like the little shark tooth is going to like whip out or bear tooth or whatever that may be just to kind of give it a little bit of extra personality so it doesn't feel so stiff but literally i'm just kind of grabbing pieces and parts and moving them up and whenever one part moves up i'm moving another part down and it really isn't that complex of a process it really is just understanding in what order things would maybe move if if they were interacting with one another so as i kind of wrap the end of this process up here i'll show you guys an example next and i'll just talk about that all right, so here's the final idle animation with no background applied to it yet. You can see how it's like bobbing up and down and certain things are traveling upwards after other things are coming back down and so forth. This is what I was talking about with follow through and just secondary animation bits that are added around the edges. It can give a lot of personality. It really didn't take that much effort or that much understanding. But at this point, I thought I was going to be finished. But like always, it seems, um, I decided I wanted to add a background to this just to give it a little bit more life. I don't know. I guess I'm just addicted to adding backgrounds to things and making things more complex than they need to be. So let's get started on that. Chiming in again just here for a second, I do want to say that I did struggle with the background on this one. The perspective was kind of off, I felt like, the whole time. I was trying to figure out how I could make it look like it was a 2D platformer, but also like it represents some 3D space. The bottom got kind of a little weird in the process, and I struggled and redrew and drew and redrew pieces and parts over and over again. And then I added pieces, and I expanded the canvas, and then I shrunk the canvas, and I added layers, and I deleted layers. So it got kind of complex and a little messy, I guess, towards the middle part of this, but I feel like it turned out pretty good in the end. Just got a little gnarly as we went along. So just note that even if you look at this 
uh, the final version I think looks pretty cool, but uh, <laughs> to say that in the process, like all pieces of artwork seem to go, it gets pretty ugly and pretty weird and pretty off-centered throughout the whole process. So just note that nobody's immune to that. It's happening here. Um, it's just sped up super fast. You can't see it as well, I guess. All right, and looking at this, this is probably about the point that it actually started feeling pretty good with how things were shaping up. I think I spent the majority of the image just really feeling not that happy with how things were set up. I actually changed the canvas size and shrunk some things down, and I think it kind of helped the composition a lot here, and just made things a little bit more tight and more zoomed in, more focused on the characters, maybe less on the background. I mean, just made the focus and the way things were arranged just turn out a lot better than it was going previous to that. So just like most of you guys, I spend my time wandering through the darkness uh, whenever it comes to this kind of stuff and then sometimes like I said I land on something that works and then I can kind of just build off of that so yeah I'll touch back again whenever we get to the end and you see the final animation with all the other pieces and parts laid in because some of it I didn't record it so <laughs> we can talk about the specifics of that whenever we get to the end of the video yeah okay bye So as you can see, I added stuff along the side to kind of have some little jiggy shining, have the eggs rotating, have the honey dripping. I also added the character bottles from Banjo-Kazooie, the guy that gives you the information about your move set and all that kind of stuff. Uh, just saying something at the top as well. Just kind of give a little bit of personality, a little bit of life, add a little bit of idle animation to him as well. I just thought it would be something slow, easy to focus on, and make it a little bit more detailed than it was initially. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please like it. If you want to see more of this, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and boom, we're done. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>